everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to you so as we're reading for the lovely star sign of pisces pisces this message is not time stamped or anything like that it's meant for you at the time you find the message so pisces let's have a look what your chakra energy is what is the energy of your chakra card what is going on for pisces And we have the heart chakra and it's trickery and it's coming out with quite a lot of people have had the heart chakra this week. And we have the wailing tree reconciliations. So just going to get the vibe going first with the chakra bowl for your heart chakra. I did find out my velvet wand, but for some reason it will not play. And that is why they gave you these when I purchased them. So we're back to the small little ones. And let's get your heart chakra vibration to start this reading. So Pisces, we've got trickery coming in with wailing tree and we've got your heart chakra coming into play here. So there's something not seating quite right with you. Something weighing heavy on your heart at the minute, okay? Because we've got reconciliations here with the wailing tree. There's something that's gone on around you recently that's made you feel upset, okay? And you feel like you've been had as a fool as well for some of you. Um, just feel like there's been lies being told and this has upset you and this is why the reconciliation has come in and it's like to say you're trying to build bridges at the minute uh, whether it's you who's upset somebody or somebody has upset you but you just feel like um, you've been cheated out of something you've been fooled out of something and this is why the wailing tree is there because this is how it's made you feel made you feel quite upset okay feel like the dragon is somebody who's around you who he's not being honest with information okay but there's something about uh, reconciliations with somebody you may have fallen out with not spoken to so what have we got in your soul spirit this week and we've got the goat potency. I'm just going to grab the little booklet that comes with this because this is a new deck. And obviously I'm learning to work with it. And the goat says, A once in a lifetime offer is made. Before undertaking a major decision, be very clear of your intention and transparent in your actions. A deception is about to be discovered now is not a time for white lies or any lies, okay? And the little poem that comes with this is Heavy footed, stuck in a rut, motivate to kick one's butt. Potency of strength and force, reclaimed, empowered to stay the course. I call upon Goat to assist me and harness his power, so mote it be. So, yeah. Now is not a time for white lies or any lies. So I want to say, don't lie to yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Um, you know, you can sort of lie to yourself, really, okay, in situations. Let's have a look what's coming out. We've got another new deck here called the Jane Austen deck. So let's just grab a card out of this deck for you. And we've got the Eight of Diamonds. 
I'll just grab the little booklet of the Eight of Diamonds and it comes out with quality. Two people attend to the tasks of housework, taking pride in the finer details. I want to say repair as well here. Some kind of repair that's needed, as in the reconciliation card. Paying attention to the finer details of a situation as well, Pisces. Let's have a look what your animal spirit card is this week. And we've got the alchemical sign of earth, and it is the earthworm. Tying yourself in knots, okay? Worrying about a situation. Feeling a little bit injured at the minute, okay? A little bit wounded um, by somebody's actions, something what somebody has said, as, I, as we were sort of highlighting at the start, where this trickery card comes in, something weighing on, heavy on your heart. Tying yourself in knots. Let's have a look what the fairies want to add into the mix. And we've got divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. Grounding yourself here with a situation where I feel you, you understand that hasn't been sitting right with you. But you're trying to get clarity on it, trying to get some breakthrough taking time out to analyze as well Pisces of what is going on around you let's have a look what your guides angels and spirits want to bring in and we've got soul power always remember you're a soul that comes with a body not a body that comes with a soul your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it, okay? I look at the bird in that card. And it comes sort of with needing to break free we've got wires here it's like you've been caught up in a situation where you need to break free from a release of energy sometimes you need to plug yourself back into the universe Pisces in order to find peace and clarity It's not always about, you know, dealing with the body itself when the mind and heart is suffering. Your soul is suffering. Your soul spirit is suffering at the moment. And you need to break free from the physical body. Go within and heal your soul oh man that's quite deep because your soul can heal your body your inner self your inner spirit can perform the healing that is needed around you where this something's weighing heavy on your heart at the minute let's have a look what your crystal card is for this week then what's going on there with your crystal energy And we've got celestite and it's smooth your soul soothe your soul how strange we've got calisite coming out with the soul power energy from spirit so it's sort of saying soothe your soul okay you're doing everything in you you know feeling it in your body situation but you've got to sort of 
repair the soul in order to repair the body. It's very deep, as I said. Let's have a look what's coming out in the movie book of answers this week. Would it be inconvenient? And it's the Philadelphia story and it's Macaulay, Mike Connor. Would it be inconvenient? So there's something that maybe you want to ask and you're thinking, would it be inconvenient if I asked that person if they could do this for me? Okay, whatever that is or however that is going to fit with you. So I'm a lovely Pisces. I'm just going to get the singing bowl back in and get this to resonate vibration for you to take you out of this week's reading. So my lovely Pisces, I hope you can take something from that. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. Any likes, comments, subscribe guys. Keeps this channel ticking along. Until next time, you take care of you. Bye then.